blood pressure go up? How do you make blood pressure go up in the body? Alright. So, vasoconstriction. Vaso meaning blood vessel, constriction meaning narrowing. Okay? Now, in the sympathetic nervous system, you have vasoconstriction of most of the blood vessels with which receptor? Alpha 1. <laughs> that's right. So that's vasoconstriction of most of the blood vessels, right? So that's why you turn pale when you are scared because you don't need blood supply to your earlobes and your forehead when you're trying to run away from a bear. So you, you don't need those blood vessels to be open, so they constrict so that other blood vessels can expand and move oxygen around the body. All right, so that's one way to increase blood pressure. What's another way? Increase fluids. I'm going to put that down here. Increase fluids. And actually, the sympathetic nervous system does that by beta-1 receptors in the kidney. And we're going to get into that when we do the cardiovascular section. So don't worry about that too much. But there's another really important one. Remember that blood pressure is it's like the water pressure in your house. So the water is being pumped around your house. What if you turn up the pump? Does that make the pressure? Does that make the water pressure coming out of your shower head stronger, right? Yeah. So the other really important way you can increase blood pressure is by increasing heart rate. So these are really the three main ways your body increases blood pressure. And what is? Beta-1. Beta-1, yes. And by the way, my mnemonic for remember beta-1 is that beta kind of looks like a heart, and you only have one heart. You have two lungs, one heart. That's my mnemonic. You can use whatever. All right. Now, in the, the uh, Girl in the Forest video, there was one little uh, situation where you had vasodilation. You guys remember there's vasodilation in the sympathetic nervous system in one part of your body? The legs. The legs, right. So that is beta 2. That's like a weird thing. Uh, What's her dilate? Because if you're trying to run away from a bear, all you need is blood supply to your legs. And you need, a blood, you need blood to your heart, your brain, so you don't pass out. You need blood going to your heart so that your heart can pump. And then you, need, you always need your kidneys working. Everything else is sort of secondary. You know, if, it's, if it only is a question of 30 seconds to get away from the bear, you can live for 30 seconds without blood flowing to your you know, nostrils or whatever. Um, so you just have dilation of these main arteries to your legs so you can run. Um, but these are otherwise, that's a very strange sort of weird sympathetic nervous system. Otherwise, this is the situation. And also, when you have both of these things happening at once, alpha 1 and beta 2, do you think you have more volume in your leg arteries or the rest of your body? Yeah, the rest of your body has way more blood in it than just the blood, your arteries. So when you have sympathetic nervous system going, you know, uh, full blast, you have the alpha-1 vasoconstriction of almost everything in your body, and you have the beta-2 dilation of the main arteries just in your arteries. So when these two things are happening at once, this doesn't even really matter. It's only going to come up as something that's important in sort of weird situations that I'll, I'll mention one of those. So really, these are the main things. Alpha-1 vasoconstriction, beta-1 increase in heart rate, and then later we're going to talk about the beta-1 action on, the, on uh, fluids. Okay, so this is the sympathetic side. Now, the parasympathetic side, right? Parasympathetic, that's the rest and relaxation, sitting on the beach, sipping a cool drink, reading a book. Um, there's really only one way the parasympathetic nervous system in your natural body reduces blood pressure, and that's by reducing heart rate. And that's done through a special nerve, the cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is responsible for all sorts of troubles in pharmacology. The reason is, is that when you're extremely scared, say you get really scared because there's like 10 bears chasing you, uh, and uh, there's a cliff coming up or something, a very scary thing. If you have all your adrenaline going, right? Your heart's pounding, your blood pressure's up, and your veins are at some 
point, if your blood pressure is too high or your heart rate goes too fast, you are going to pass out or die. Because if your heart rate is going really fast, it doesn't have time to contract. So it's just, so you're not really getting blood going around. And if your blood pressure gets too high, and you happen to be born with a little aneurysm in your brain, you'll blow a vessel and die in the stroke. So the vagus nerve is like the safety valve. Right? So if the blood pressure and the heart rate starts getting too high, if, no, I'm sorry, if the blood pressure starts getting too high, then the vagus nerve will kick in and your heart rate will go down. 